Hello, you young adults. Today, we shall learn about the multiplier effect. Yay. This is Michaela, and she works at Blaze's Pizza. Wait, hello, Michaela. Michaela makes some damn good pizzas, and today she made a damn good pizza for her friend Christiana. Christiana scoffed that thing down and almost choked, but it was worth it. So worth it that she gave Michaela a $100 tip out of the kindness of her heart. When Michaela got off work, she decided to spend some of that tip money on Chipotle. That's where she asked the supreme master of all that is burrito -y, we'll call them Victor, for some food. Just look at her. Look at how bloodthirsty she is for that burrito. The sight of it makes me sick. Ugh. That day, Michaela spent $50. $20 on that really good burrito, and she gave Victor a $30 tip. Now, it's time to stop. Pull out them writing utensils, kids. It's math time. Recall that Michaela received a $100 tip. She spent $50 on Chipotle. Her marginal propensity to consume can be calculated by the change in real consumption over the change in real disposable income. In this case, it's 0.5. After work, Victor craved a cookie. But not just any cookie. No, no, no. He wanted the important things. So he went to everyone's favorite Russian bakery, Matryoshka Cafe. The cookie was so good. It was so good, it was illegal. Literally. He paid $15 for it and just gobbled it right up. Now... You still have them writing utensils, right, kids? It's still math time. Recall that he received a $30 tip, and Victor spent $15 on it on that giant cookie. So his marginal propensity to consume is also 0.5. From the sale, the Russian baker received a change of $15 in his real disposable income. He spends $50 on that on some cheap vodka, I mean, contraband. Notice here how his MPC is 0.5 as well and can be calculated by the $7.50 he spent on the contraband over 15. As you can tell, there is a cycle going on here as we can see that Michaela's original $50 investment has allowed more people to buy things. This is where the multiply effect comes in, which is defined as 1 over 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume. In this case, it's 2. But what does that mean? Well, if we were to continue that cycle, Michaela's $100 tip times the multiplier would equal 200. That means that $200 were put into the economy. Let's look at this in more detail. The multiplier equation is 1 over 1 minus marginal propensity to consume. Also can be written as 1 over marginal propensity to save. And we can define marginal propensity to save as MPC plus MPS equals 1. So what is Michaela's MPS? Well, we can find this if we have the other one. So her MPC is 0.5 through algebra, we can now define that her MPC is 0.5 as well. So she spent her $50 tip and we found her MPS as the change in real saving over the change in real disposable income. And now we will show that this equation holds true for both MPC and MPS. If we check it and we solve it for both, we see that 1 over 1 minus MPC will equal 2, and if we use MPS, it equals 2 as well. The end. Yay.